after going to visionrise.com and downloading our DWF uh, stamps or you've downloaded this tutorial you'll be given a zip file and if we extract that zip file under the DWF redline stamps we have several DWF files and so if we want to convert those DWF files into symbols what we can do is go to the symbols tool select the create catalog then we'll go to that specific path and we'll select appliances.dwf and open then we'll make sure that this import each sheet as symbol is checked and we'll call this new catalog appliances and select OK. So now it tells us that we have created a new appliance catalog and it has nine symbols. And so we're going to repeat this step and do the same thing for creating our catalogs. We'll select our doors. We'll select create catalog. We'll select our electrical. We'll create a catalog, select plumbing, and we'll select it, create catalog, and select windows. So once we've done that, we've created a new set of uh, catalog for our drawing. So if we want to add one of these, I'll zoom in here to my second floor plan, zoom into this corner of the game room, and I'm going to pull down the symbols. Uh, button and I'm going to go to the plumbing and then I will select the bathroom sink. I'll select that and it brings in a symbol. The symbol comes in, it has several grips around it. These yellow grips are used for uh, making the uh, symbol a little bit bigger so if I hover over that I get an arrow. If I hover in the middle I can move it and this green, air, this green grip is for rotating the symbol. So I can select that and say rotate that. And when I get to a 90 degree corner, it'll actually highlight in red where that is. So I'm going to rotate that. And then I'm going to move that symbol right over here to the corner of my game room. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the symbol. I'll go to my plumbing tools and I will select toilet. And I'll bring that in, and also I'll rotate that and move that into place. Then once I have that, I want to actually start to make uh, certain markups. So what I will do is I will go to the draw area. And so if I select a line, these options will become available here. I'm going to change my line weight from a one point to a three point and I'm going to keep this red and so now what I'll do is I'll draw a line representing a wall around what I'm making a little powder room so I just draw a line from one point to another simulate a wall and now that I have that I can put a little door in my new little powder room I'll pull down my symbols button I'll go to my doors and I will select the left two foot stamp and I'll bring in a door tool. We'll rotate that around and make sure it gets at that 90 degrees then we'll move it into place where it wipes out that, uh, that little bit of door. So you can make your own markup, custom markups. You can use the line, you can use different shapes, uh, freehand draw, you can uh, make your own symbols if you want to get into that, or use our own symbols to uh, populate a drawing. So I'll leave you to do that, and then we'll go on to the next exercise.